I see that look that's in your eyes Takes me to a simpler time When I was yours and you were mine Running barefoot, holding hands Oh, we made such great big plans And never thought about the end As memories fade and time goes by I keep a picture in my mind And if I go back there somehow And find a way to turn it around I know exactly what I do I spend a lot more time with you With nothing ever much to do But lay back Look up at the sky and do a little rewind And I go back, I go back oh, I go back to a much simpler time for me Jesse Jefferson and Josh Ingersoll. Jesse, back in studio. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Oh, my gosh, you guys. That was incredible. Josh, how are you doing? Real good. Thank you. So we have Josh Ingersoll. It's on the mandolin, right? That's yeah. a mandolin. Yes, ma'am. And then also uh, the harmonica. And you're playing and singing again, Jesse. On um, the guitar. On the guitar. Wow, that was really great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We wrote that one together. Yeah. 
most of our songs we kind of write together. We had a few that we both brought into the project prior, but uh, we found we really kind of got a got a cool little thing writing together. Yeah, kind of complement each other well. I mean, so you guys, a two piece Northern Michigan band. Um, would you call yourselves kind of like folk rock? Like, what do you? It, it's a, always in hard way, to and we're fit kinda, into a genre. We're kind of like transitioning at the moment too. We're trying to pick up a bigger sound we're in the process of like trying to work with bass and drums and stuff too but like i think for like our little duo that we've been doing i think folk rock is probably a good a good way to sum it up i don't right. know we both tried to come up with lots I say of it's a good place ways. to start with like what we're doing yeah for sure it's not our end all be all but it's where we're at right now for what sure. do you what do you think about um people who try to I, I know this has just been going on since the beginning of music but everyone wants to classify a yeah. sound you know it's really hard it's to kind do, of a difficult you know? thing i would say i don't know i guess just in my opinion i love music but you also need some sort of classification, right? So right. that you know what to look up. <laughs> yeah, kind you of. Know? I mean, but um, it's also like, you know, if someone says, uh, what kind of music do you like? And you say, I like everything. And yeah. it's like, well, that, most people say that. Everybody now, says you know? that, right? So it's right. good to, you know, have a little <laughs> thing like, I, I like folk rock or I like blues. So I guess right. that's kind of what I feel like I gravitate more towards, like blues and jazz and then like kind of folky country stuff. Yeah. And anything that doesn't fit into that, you just throw into alternative, right? Right, right yeah. I guess so. Right. <laughs> Pretty much. It's a good, it's it's a kind good of way to put it, right? So yeah, that was one thing, too. We're like, are we, do, are we indie? You know, because I yeah. mean, like some of our covers that we do live and stuff, I and mean, we do like killer songs, you know, we even do to the Tom Jones, you know. Okay. Like, we kind of run the gamut. So wow. So it's really kind of hard yeah. to like really classify. But like, like as what our we music, what we, what we write as, I guess, would be more kind of folk rock, right. I would say. Well, that's what you, I mean, you guys have not been together for too long. I'm looking at this, and you kind of, uh, you got together last summer when did you yeah. decide to make this blue river well, thing we uh we played together around campfires here and there you know and uh and we were in we, we were kind of in this little project with another guy um last summer yeah, i was his bass player actually and it kind of I mean, that wasn't the best experience, I suppose, you know, and Jesse and I were just sitting in my band, in my little practice room or whatever, and we're like, man, let's just, let's just start doing this together, so yeah. we just kind of worked really hard on getting a base of songs and writing together and stuff, and, and now, yeah, you I know, we got that project, music. we did that, like, I came down, and he had a song written, he's like, you know, I showed this to the guy we were working with, and he didn't want to do it, and we just wrote a song out of it, and yeah. we're like, well, why don't we do this? I mean, that happens, though. Sometimes the best projects come from disgruntled yeah. former bands, right? Right, it was a good catalyst <laughs> yeah. for us, you know. It kind of, you know, it kind of got us going in the right direction or whatever, you know. And, and yeah. really, my the my favorite thing about it so far has just been writing with Jesse, you know. I think that, like, we got a good a good thing going with the songs that we're creating and stuff like that. And we're right. really excited to get it out there and kind of... Hopefully, put it on some, uh, uh, put it on something. You know, starting yeah. tomorrow in the studio. Yeah, I know you guys are going to the studio tomorrow. You're going to be working at Studio Anatomy on a, a, a new album. Um, Jesse, I know a little bit about you. You've been on a, a guest on our show before um, with some uh, other projects, and you know, you're a Traverse City native. Um, you know, kind of found your way to guitar before voice, right? Yeah, yeah. And and yet your voice is really phenomenal. Thank you. I mean, just a really great sound. And and Josh, you're from the Benzie County area. Um, yeah. And, you know, when did you find music? Well, I mean, I've always been a big connoisseur of music, mm -hmm. you know, and always dabbled enough to, like, kind of, you know, chord bang around a campfire or whatever, but really as far as dedicating myself was really only a couple of years ago, a year and a half ago when I discovered, you know, I used to write a lot, but I never put them in the context of a song. Mm -hmm. And there was always like, it was always on this pedestal, you know, to be a songwriter. It's like, I could never do it, you know? And then, uh, as I started sharing some of my stuff a little bit, I started realizing, Hey, I kind of got a little yeah. bit of a knack for songwriting here. And, uh, so really like really you know, applying myself only really a couple of years, but I did have a base of like 15 years of chord banging yeah. and going to concerts and everything right. else, you right. know, because that's always, it's always kind of been my thing since I was young. You know, I, I think we were just talking about this in the last segment about, um, really about the sort of the dying art of the singer songwriter, especially as it uh, relates to pop charts. But yeah. now that you have all these sort of sub genres, you have these um, these folks that are actually singer songwriters. I've always held them to a higher standard and to kind of put them in awe because when I'm in the crowd and I'm listening and I can hear the words and I can go, 
that's an experience that that person that had. Yeah. You need the lyrical content. And to there's go along the with it. the connection is right there. Yeah, you know, for sure. it's like a story or something that you right. can really connect with or put in right. your life, even if it's not the same thing that it was written about. And you know, Jesse, your songwriting is always kind of coming from personal stuff, but it evolves over time. Right. And maybe yeah. the feeling you felt five years ago is not necessarily there. Right. But the song is still there. And Josh, how about you? I mean, what? Does the experience happen and then the song is born? Well, you know, in a lot of ways, I used to try to kid myself that I had like these certain characters that I wrote <laughs> about, you know, and then like as I would like go back over my lyrics and stuff, I'm like, this is just me at different points. So, yeah, I mean, I think to you know, that it all has to come from some sort of experience, you yeah. know, whether it's your experience or somebody you care about or something, you know, because that's yeah. kind of the basis for some songs, too. What's um, what are some of your influences when it comes to songwriting, Josh? I mean, I kind of got like a Mount Rushmore in my mind. I really love Jason Isbell, mm -hmm. formerly of Drive-By Truckers. Um, I think his solo stuff's amazing. I love Steve Earle. Mm. I love, you know, I love, uh, I love the Boss. I love Bruce Springsteen, and I love Bob Dylan. You know, yeah. to me, like I don't think singer songwriters get much better than 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 those guys. That is kind of a Mount Rushmore. <laughs> that, 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 that's who I like, <laughs> anyway, as far as it goes. But I like a lot of others, a lot of other guys. Yeah. Too. What about you, Jesse? Oh. um... I'd say like my biggest influence would be when I was growing up would be Queen. Yeah. I listened to Queen a ton when I was growing up, and it was just wasn't super popular like in my not really my household. No, just, like, it, it wasn't a movie yet. It right? wasn't a movie for sure. <laughs> so I know I feel but like that. That, too, that was like, the first solo I ever learned was that Queen. Yeah. You know uh, the uh, Bohemian Rhapsody and stuff. That was what before I even learned to play guitar. I played that because wow. it was just that was it was so amazing to me. Their music and the mm -hmm. orchestration of it, how huge it was and stuff like that. I love that. But then I also love like Albert King, BB mm -hmm. King, the yeah. blues back like Stevie Ray Vaughan. Huge influences for me right now because I love the blues. Yeah. But you know also Bob Dylan. Like I didn't really listen to a ton of it. And then you know I met Josh. I met him years before we started doing this, and uh, I. Yeah, just looking up things like that. He's a great songwriter. Looking at lyrical content and things mm -hmm. like that, and like it's it's an actual story that that person wrote. That what started to be. You that know, was. Josh, when you're writing a song, though, um, and I know you you said you kind of escaped this idea of characters. This is just all you, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, for the most part. But I mean, you know, I mean different <laughs> different things that I've seen. You know, other people too. Yeah. You know, but they're definitely related to me. The experiences right. for sure. Um, you know, there is this idea that you know. You're, when people are writing a song, it's either you're writing it for yourself and then you're going to share it with the world, or you're writing it for the world. What, what, where do you well, think you... You know, it starts out as, like, it's your baby and it's really precious, and sometimes you don't, you're even, like, kind of, you, you shrink back of even, like, exposing it. But yeah. once it gets exposed and once somebody else listens to it, you know, like, I had a cousin that told me, like, one of my songs I wrote was, like, her favorite song, and I was like... You know, that does not, that no longer is just my song. Right. You know, that, that becomes, you know, everybody's song at yeah. that point. And that's kind of the magic of it, you know. It's like when your baby learns to walk. Exactly. <laughs> and then, you know, and then and then the translation of it from each individual person that's listening to it. Because they'll get something completely yeah. different out of it than what you, than what you were doing, you know, than what you were trying to say, which is, you know, part of the magic of music. And, well, well said. I know you guys are playing all over this summer. You're going into the studio tomorrow at Studio Anatomy, um, so you will have an album uh, that uh, you're going to be working through. April 8th, you're going to be, well, you're here today. May 18th, you're going to be at uh, Be Well Meadery. That's in Bel Air. Uh, May 31st at the Cellar, Cellar 152 in Elk Rapids. I love that place. Um, you're back at the Cellar. You're going to be actually all over the place, including Lake Ann Brewing Company. I think you just uh, booked that one. Yeah. Um, so best way for people to follow you? Um, you can check us out on Facebook. Um, it's uh, Northern Michigan Music Blue River. Mm -hmm. So you could just look up Blue River or Northern Michigan Music Blue River. Uh, we're also going to have this podcast, plus we have a little video, so you can always, uh, we'll tag you in that, and people can find Crystal cool. Frost Show on that. Um, but yeah, you're, you're already you're going to be in Petoskey. You're going to be at Left Foot Charlie. So lots of different dates and more to come, I'm sure. Um, thank you guys both so much for coming thank in today. You for us. I know you have one more song. Do you want to introduce that song before you play it? Yeah, this one's called Cheyenne. Um, it's uh, it's another co-write that Jesse and I uh, did together. It's been uh, it's been pretty nice for both of us. We both like it quite a bit. All right, Jesse Jefferson, Josh Ingersoll, Blue River. Here you go. Left 
Took me this long to get back to you. Shy, shy, shy. 